What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Hunting Country TV and today we are talking about the 2021 Roush equipped Ford Ranger. And we're here to tell you if we think it sucks or not. Well, maybe we might tell you that, but we're gonna go over the different things on the vehicle, show you what you get for the $14,000 package, and let you make that decision if you think it is worth that money. Now, before we get started, I do wanna let you know that we are giving away a full-size four-door Ford Bronco. And we're going to announce that giveaway the day that we hit 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. So stop what you're doing right now, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you don't miss any cool content. And to prove to you that we actually do give crap away when we say we do, take a look at the screen right there. You see that beautiful white F-150? That is the customer that won the 2021 BDS lift kit giveaway. Not only did we honor that and, and give him that BDS lift kit, but we also didn't, we surprised him with it. We also paid for the labor for that as well. So uh, a little bit of under promising and over delivering. So if you think this is a scam, you're absolutely full of it and you're wrong. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that way you can enter to win and be ready when that launch for the giveaway of the Bronco goes live. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump back into the vehicle and show you what you've got going on. Now, this is not gonna be a video talking about the Ranger and the in and outs of the Ranger. This is more or less, I'm, I'm gonna cover a couple things, but I'm primarily gonna talk about like what did Roush performance do to this vehicle that makes it unique to Roush performance. Does that make sense? Now, the first thing that you're going to know, and it, it's obvious because Roush does this on every one of their vehicles, is you've got a complete replacement for that front grille. And as you can see, they've got the stamp in there pretty hard with the Roush. Now, what's interesting about this grille compared to the other Roushes that they do, this one's actually painted to match the rest of the vehicle in this particular situation. Um, so you don't have that hard, unpainted plastic that you have in a lot of the other Roush grills, but it's just interesting to see that it is actually painted. I think I do like that in this particular situation, but I also like the unpainted raw finish, like something you have on that Roush F-150 located right there. So, you know, it's just different styles, different people, like different things. So there you go. Now looking at the bottom side of the truck itself, um, one thing I've noticed is that these front tow hooks are red. I am assuming, and I hope uh, you know what happens when you assume something, but I am, ass <laughs> I am assuming, oh, what's up? I know this guy. <laughs> you hear that? That's a high bird, high bird. What's up, dude? What's going on? Man, what's happening? Hey, Good to see you. Been? Fishing with Yak Pack. What's Make up, sure... everybody? Oh, hang on, but we got to address this. Really. Why is it so cold here? I, I know it's Alabama, right? Freezing. It was 97 <laughs> degrees when I left my house at 345 this morning, and now I'm freezing. I have to You've been driving since 345? Yeah, it's been a minute. Let me get my sunglasses. Woo! That is wild. So uh, what you didn't realize, so I, I talked to him just on the on the phone a few minutes ago, um, and he's bringing up his vehicle. Have you told Have you told your audience uh, what's going on? They've seen what happened. I don't think yours has. Okay. Yet, so so uh, some things happened. He's got it up back up here for service work. We're going to take care of that. While I was waiting on you to come up here, I was just kind of doing a walk around of the Roush, yeah. um, the the Roush Ranger. But what the real surprise is, uh, this is your loaner car. No, are you are you kidding me? <laughs> I was just fixing to say this thing is sick. Roush. It's Ranger. it's not it's not as bad as the boosted goose. I don't know. I don't know. Look at this thing. So it's yeah, crazy. I just I, I thought you know I, I could put you in a Fiesta loaner car. That's what I, I was could, expecting, I honestly. That's so. This is crazy. That's insane. So yeah, we we thought we'd let you at least ride in style for a yeah, little while. Perfect. So that's that's freaking and, awesome. You know, I apologize. I wish it was a TC Customs. That would be what I would prefer. Hey. But with inventory as short as it is right now, Dude, those microchips. These guys kill it, man. These guys kill it yeah. every single time every <laughs> single time that's so well awesome. thank you dude i appreciate that well i'll tell you what uh we're gonna pause the video for just a second i'm gonna go get him checked in and we'll see you here in about three seconds when i get through through doing this okay all right now that yak pack actually has shown up here and we've kind of given this to him as his loaner car I need to finish up the video, but I kind of can't remember where we left off. So I'm gonna just start covering other things uh, from here going forward. So one thing that you didn't notice or most people don't notice is you actually have an LED light bar located on either side inside of that front grill, which is gonna be nice. It adds for a little extra light when you're uh, off-roading or at night. Uh, and once again, I do not think those are DOT approved. So that's gonna be an off-road use situation only.
only. But let's kind of move on to the next part, and that's going to be the wheels, tires, and the suspension. So um, before we talk about that, you'll see that Roush has got their dedicated fender flare for the Ranger. And as you can see, it's got the amber uh, lights on the side as well for safety or precaution, what have you. Uh, but let's talk about the wheels and the tires. So these are a set of Roush wheels. Technically, they're not Roush wheels. Technically, they are. we found out Josh, our cameraman's like, hey, wait a second. My wife's got these exact same wheels on, on, on her Forerunner. <laughs> And so I don't know if uh, Josh still has that picture, but uh, we'll make sure that we put that on the screen if we can. But it's a Roush rebranded Vision wheel. So that is very interesting to see. But it is a good looking wheel. I like how it's kind of a matte black. I like how it's got the bolts, but not too many of them. It's just clean enough and, and it's not too busy, but it is also not bland, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, you've got a set of General Grabber ATX tires. Uh, these are 285-60R18. So it's an 18 inch wheel. And as you can see, 285-60. So that's what you've got there. As far as the suspension is concerned, that's going to be where a lot of the money is going to be spent on this particular vehicle. And that is going to be the Fox coilovers in the front. So as you can see, that is an adjustable coilover. You can adjust the ride height, do whatever you need to for whatever specific situation. We've had a lot of really good luck with that coilover system in the F-150. And my understanding is it is just the exact same thing, but tuned specifically for a uh, for a Ranger, almost said a Raptor, but for a Ranger. So a pretty cool setup there. And I'm curious to see what Yak Pack thinks about driving this, because he's gonna be pounding some miles on this as this is his loaner car. So pretty cool stuff there. The other thing that I really like um, about Roush is they are not afraid to brand their products predominantly. And you can see they've replaced the entire fender vent, which this is a functional heat extractor. So it allows heat to come out of the engine bay. And obviously you pay for a Roush. You want to make sure that you, you, everybody else knows you paid for a Roush as well. Coming around to the side, you will also notice, I do like, especially on a magnetic, or I think this is carbonized gray, you do have uh, the uh, emblem down at the bottom or the the, uh, the vinyl stripe down the bottom that just says Roush Performance. Uh, not a whole lot to go over with you there. And then also you've got your rear wheel well liner, rear wheel, <laughs> fender flare. Can you tell I'm talking in circles here today? The fender flare for the rear as well. Uh, now, what I was actually thinking of is you do have an actual wheel well liner in here. That's why I got tongue tied there for a second. Um, and while we're in this direction, I do wanna show you that you you also have the Fox shocks in the rear as well. So interesting stuff, as well as your Roush branded exhaust system. And in fact, it actually doesn't sound too bad. So let's just have a quick listen so you know what it sounds like. So as you can hear, it's definitely not a V8, but it is surely a lot better than the factory stock exhaust. The next thing I want to talk about is an aesthetic choice from Roush, and that is going to be the American flag. Everybody loves the American flag. I'm red-blooded American. I love the United States, and Roush does too. So they put the American flag on nearly every vehicle that they that they make. Now, if you guys don't know, Yak Pack actually uh, is a prior service member. That's right. Yeah, 12 uh, what? Years. 12, Tw years, 12, yeah. 12 years. Twelve years. Holy. Yeah. Okay. So I've gotten a lot of people that that are like, "Oh, you put the flag on there backwards." Yeah. I'm, I've never served in the military. What, what is your take on that? Okay, so what I've always heard about that, and uh, everyone ever told me in the military ever, was you're always running forward. And when you're running forward, that's what your flag looks like. On our uniform, that's what our flag looked like too, on the right shoulder. So it's you're running forward. You never run backwards. You always run forward. There you go. Straight to the action, baby. There you go. From a veteran himself. So there you go. That settles up the dispute. Come on back to the back side. I'll show you a couple of other things. You've got the Roush square emblem. This is one of their logos they've had for absolutely ever. Uh, it is one of their most iconic logos that has really just not gone away. Coming on to this side where we got a little bit of sun, you can see what's going on. You've got the Jack Roush logo in that rear window. Once again, they are very proud of that name. They should be. It's they're fantastic with research and development engineering the whole nine. And I'm not just trying to sell this. I mean, yes, we do sell these things, but Roush is known to be an engineering company first and a vehicle customization second, meaning that yes, their stuff is more expensive than other things on the market. Not even gonna lie. That, that is probably the case that you guys are gonna come up with at the end of this, at the end of this video. But what you've got is absolutely exceptional engineering. Ford, uh, Roush Performance, uh, Roush Engineering, Roush Industries, if you will, they are an engineering company first, and then out of their love of cars and engineering came this vehicle, the F-150, and all the other Roush products. 
there you go. That's kind of what it boils down to. Now let's do this. Let's take a look at the inside and see what you've got there. On the inside of the vehicle, just as a, uh, a way to measure my height and the height of the vehicle, I'm six foot three and you can see how high the truck comes as I'm wearing my normal shoes. So pretty cool stuff there. As far as the inside, there's not a whole lot of things that have changed drastically, but one thing that I'm glad to see is that they've changed out the leather. So the seating here is going to be a premium catskin leather seat. They certify and make sure that the airbags work in these seats before they ever get installed. So you have no question whether or not the airbag is going to deploy on a Roush Performance leather. So it's pretty cool. And they've also got the Roush stitching in the seat back. You've got the diamond cut stitching in the middle. And then you've also got this faux carbon fiber look uh, over here on the bolsters as well. So a pretty sweet little setup. Now, a couple of other things I want to show you is you do have a Roush serial badge located on the passenger side. As you can see, Roush 21 period 110. That means this is the one 110th Roush vehicle made for 2021. So the first two digits de denote the year model. The 110 is what vehicle in line this particular uh, trim is itself. So looking at the instrument cluster itself, you can see this is also not factory. They swap out the instrument cluster with a Roush branded gauge. As you can see that little R logo at the top. I like those gauges because it's not over the top. It doesn't scream, look at me, but it, it definitely screams that, hey, I'm a little different. I'm a little different. Now keep in mind that this particular vehicle may not have the performance pack on it, but Roush does offer performance performance packs to increase the horsepower and the torque right from the factory with a full warranty. So keep that in mind as you're looking at this vehicle or really any Ranger at all. Before we go to the back seat, I do want to show you the actual floor mats. As you can see, these are a set of WeatherTech floor mats that are actually rebranded with the Roush logo. So it's pretty sweet to see that you do get Roush badging once again. For those of you guys that are the keep and count, how many Roush logos have you seen in this video? It's going to be interesting to see what that looks like. And looking at the back seat as well, you still have that diamond stitch. Look how tight this leather is. There's no sagging, there's no issues, it's all tight and it's all firm. This is exactly the way you want to see leather installed on a vehicle. Absolutely love it. A couple of other things that Roush Performance has done to this particular Ranger is going to be the console vault and then also you've got another vault underneath it. So you have the ability to store your firearms or anything of value, which I don't have it uh, <laughs> I don't have it unlocked, but you have the ability to store some valuable items back here and you don't have to worry uh, about things getting stolen out of your vehicle so it's a pretty sweet little setup now the cool part is you have that same or a similar console vault in the front seat armrest as well so it's nice to see that you have that option all right so underneath the hood you guys can probably already guess exactly what's going on this has got the 2.3 liter four-cylinder ecoboost and as you can see i love the fact that it's got those uh, hood struts uh, so that's nice to see now once again this one is not equipped with it but you do have the ability to go with the roush performance pack which comes with a cold air intake exhaust system you can have a retune you can get a lot of power out of these 2.3 liter uh, four cylinders in fact this is the same four cylinder that is also found in the 2021 ford bronco and you're not going to have any issues. This is a similar architecture that you're going to find in the Ford Focus RS, as well as uh, what are some of the other vehicles? Oh, the Mustang EcoBoost also has the same specific engine. So it's a pretty sweet setup that you have there. So there you go. That is our video. Uh, huge thanks to Yak Pack for uh, being in our video, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate you very, yeah. very much. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to his YouTube channel. But subscribe uh, to yours first. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right, because we are giving away a Bronco, as I've already mentioned Ooh, to you. what? Yeah, I hadn't Ooh, told you about that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> If y'all don't subscribe, y'all are crazy. That's right. So the day that we hit 300,000 subscribers, we are launching that giveaway. So if you're not subscribed, you're just not going to allow the uh, the contest out. to happen. Yeah, absolutely. Out, yeah, absolutely. So guys, hit that up. Uh, hit some comments down below if you haven't already done so. And smash that like button. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Peace.